impressive. Up the floor comes Martin. Aggressive defense so far tonight from Tobias Harris. Oh, beautiful give and go. Hero on a soft bounce. And one of the parts at that elbow cutters. He finds him in a beautiful cut, delivery, and finish by Hero on that last bucket. Doc Rivers going a little bit deeper into his bench. Paul Millsap, the former four-time All-Star, has checked in. It is going to be all hands on deck without Embiid. Beautiful. And they came out of that last time out. Philadelphia went to a man-to-man. -man and he back to the zone right now. And Hero. Hero looking for more two-man pick and roll. That is Adebayo. And Hero. Good start for Adebayo, 12 points to go along with seven rebounds. And Miami builds its lead back to double digits. Harris contact, no whistle, and he puts it down again. And he's the guy right now. Big player development as well. Mm -hmm. So four players that they have in their rotation who are undrafted players in a season in which they desperately needed it. With that whole Ben Warriors and the Grizzlies in Memphis. For more of these games, go to NBA.com or visit the NBA. 26 points per game there in that first round against Toronto. So it's just amazing how he's improved. You talk about player development. Same thing on the Sixers side as well. Points of the night. And he has played his way into Eric Spolster's rotation after basically missing the entire season. Harris, no, and he cleans it up. What a half Tobias Harris there as he's into double digits. And talk about today's NBA. Tobias Harris, the tallest guy on the floor right now for both teams, playing a little bully ball inside for Philadelphia. Three-pointer from Martin. No, and that is Tucker inside. Harris too strong that time. Here comes Martin looking for more as he slices through the defense. The, the prolific score that he was during the season. He just became a one-dimensional player. It was incredible to watch it really was i mean america's team could not get into an offensive <laughs> flow there but danny green earning the trust fitting in but a guy who can go get a bucket and make a play you forget really how talented as an all is his ability to finish at the rim finishes a lot of unorthodox plays at the basket not afraid at all it was that they were able to move Maxi from the point to his natural spot at that off guard. His point guard with Ben Simmons unavailable and certainly excelled, but this is where he is most comfortable at that position as Harden was able to take the reins of the offense. Hero! Well, he's got everything working in this first half. Just past the midway point, second quarter. Harden with a three point check. This kid Reed continues to play his way into the mix. Harden! And here come the Sixers as Harden now. It what a start to the postseason for Butler. Second among all active players. People talked about his struggles, Grant, in that first round sweep last spring at the hands of Milwaukee. But as it was a tough matchup there for them against Milwaukee, the eventual champion. And speaking of tough right there, that was not. On a bio, three on two. Butler on the finish. Sixers working quickly. Harris contact, and he will score the basket. Tobias Harris with a chance at three when we come back. Here Joel Embiid, left orbital bone fracture, mild concussion. They'll be without him at least the first two games of the series. Harris off balance, missed it in a late whistle. More free throws for the 76ers. And Spiro, right now, what, what they're doing offensively as Tobias Harris, once again, getting to his spot. Looked like maybe Butler's arm got locked in there as Tobias was going into his shooting motion, but very similar to what we saw last week in the Utah-Dallas series. They're just spreading the floor, going isolation one-on-one, -on -one, looking for a matchup that they feel is favorable. And Maxi, Harden, and Harris taking turns going off the bounce, trying to create offense for themselves or their teammates.
But Grant, it's interesting, you crunch the numbers if you go deep into the analytics, and so much of the Heat's defense begins with the way that they defend the interior. Oh. And even though they're very good against the three-point shot, it does leave them vulnerable to the amount of attempted threes that opponents have taken this season. As right now, Philadelphia has found something with this smaller, quicker lineup. Maxi poked away out of bounds by Bam Adebayo with 19 to shoot as we have just crossed the two-minute mark left in the half. And you're right. I mean, it's interesting. Philadelphia, they're at their best, I think, when they're beating you with twos, not threes. Attacking, getting to the paint, getting to the free-throw line. But as you said, Miami gives up threes, normally guards the paint pretty well, having trouble here in this first half. Harden is going to back away and reset. This is what Adebayo can bring. He can defend every single position. Harden on a three short rebound, Butler. And I, I thought Harden got tagged on the arm. Adebayo hitting his arm on that shot. Butler leaning into green, misses. And it's last touch by Adebayo. And the Philadelphia 76ers down by as many as 14 points with a chance to cut into a three-point deficit. And good defense right here. Adebayo contests and clearly hits his arm. And you see Harden missing a few feet short there on that shot. Second time that's happened here in this first half for James Harden. There comes Maxi. That lightning quickness. One point game. Eight to two, Philly run 17 7 extended over the last six plus. All the deep on a three back rim.